now we have seen how to display dynamic cards and also we have fetched the data from the products table now when i click on this add to cart let me just come to cart table inside this previously we have inserted the empty table again when i click on this add to cart i will refresh this again empty data will be inserted inside the cart table so what we have to do whatever data we have fetched from the products table first we have to display that data inside this cards i will come here here i am going to remove this image name only the image name path will be as it is i will be writing php code close php and inside this i am just going to write echo fetch products inside this i am just going to give the image tag okay this image is the column name present inside the products table i will refresh this continue now you can see all the products are changed i am having headphone i am having this laptop and i am having this ear pods i will come to products table this image name i have passed so in the same way we have to fetch name as well as we have to fetch the price here you can see all static name are displayed and all static price are displayed i will come here same thing i will be writing php close php and inside this echo i am just going to write fetch products and inside square brackets i will be writing name save this refresh this one continue headphone laptop and ear pods all the names are displayed finally we have to display the price i will remove this i am going to write php close php echo fetch products inside this i am just going to pass price this is very simple we have already fetched the products from the products table only thing is now we are going to display that products i will come here now entire prices are 12000 i will refresh this you can see whatever price i have given for this products that price is displayed here so till now we have fetched the products from the products table and also we have displayed those products inside our shop okay now finally we have displayed the products now here for this laptop i am just going to click on this add to cart data is added i will come to cart table now we have fetched the products we have displayed the products so laptop data has to be inserted inside cart i will come here i will refresh this one you can see how many times i have clicked add to cart that many times empty data is filled inside this table the reason is we have just displayed inside this we have just displayed the data inside the cart we have not displayed the data inside this input hidden fields this hidden input field data i have to store inside the cart table i will copy this name name i am going to paste it here then i want to store price i will copy this price same same thing i am just going to copy and inside this price i am going to paste finally for image also same thing i am going to copy and inside this third input field i am going to paste now i'll come i will refresh this now when i will just click on this headphone add to cart i will come here i will refresh this even after refreshing i am not getting this data you can just think for 2 3 seconds what is the mistake we have done i will come here i will click on add to cart again i will refresh you can see again 7th id is added but the data is still empty i will come here whatever data we have pasted here for this data we have to give one attribute that is the most important attribute here i will just write here value attribute is equal to i'm just going to wrap inside this double quotes same thing value attribute 
is equal to double quotes. This value we have to store inside the cart table. So we should always give this value attribute. I will just close double quotes. Save this. Now I will come. I will refresh this. Inside my cart table, I am having seven empty data. I will click on this add to cart laptop. I will refresh this one. Now you can see laptop data is inserted inside cart table. That is the reason we have to give this value attribute. Only then this value we are going to fetch and we are going to store inside that table. Now what I want to do, I, will, I want to delete all this table data. I will come to operations and I am just going to truncate the table. Okay. I will come to structure. I will open this cart table. Now my cart table is empty. I will insert laptop. I will just refresh this one. Laptop data is inserted. I will insert headphone. I will refresh this. Headphone data is also inserted and ID is 2. Again I will click on this headphone. I will refresh this. You can see again headphone data is inserted but the ID has changed to 3. Now what we want to do, once the data is inserted inside the cart, I do not want to insert that product again. I should be getting the message, this product is already inserted. Again, same data should not be inserted inside the cart table. Now in this section what we have seen, we have displayed all the data from the products table and using the hidden input fields, we have fetched this data from here. And we have stored that data inside the cart table. We have got the data from products table and we have inserted the data inside the cart table. Next session, we are going to see same data should not be inserted inside the cart table for more than once.